Today we are going to take the um, logos that you made with Pixlr and we're going to change these into a .stl file so that we can 3D print them. So what we need to do is we need to find a website that converts our JPEGs into a .stl file. A website that I found is the selva3d.com. So I'm going to go ahead and hit, hit start now and you'll need to create an account. And then once we're in there, we're going to say upload an image. So right now we have this. We're going to save it. So we're going to download this as a standard quality STL for free. It takes a second for the download to start. And then you'll click OK. And you can see that the .stl is down here in your downloads. Now I'm going to go to Tinkercad. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to create a new design. I'm going to go ahead and import my STL file. So I'm going to click Import, Choose File, and I'm going to find the .stl and hit Import. Okay, now it's pretty small, so I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so now I've made it bigger but you can see that it actually doesn't have a base on it. So I'm going to find a base. I'm just going to do a block. Some of your logos work better with the cylinder. Um, I think this logo right here, here will look better with the box. And so I'm going to drag this box out. And I'm going to bring it down to one millimeter. Okay, so now it's down to one. And now I'm going to take this .stl and I'm going to drag it to about two millimeters. Now, as you can see, my base isn't long enough, so I'm going to go ahead and make the base longer. I still need to make it a little bit wider, I should say. Okay, let's take a look down here. I think I'm probably going to need to align these again. So I'm going to click on these and I'm going to hit the align tool. Click here and here. Now these should be aligned. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and group them together. And now I can export this out to MakerBot. I'm going to export it as a .stl. It gives it a kind of a funky name. Um, so make sure you kind of write down what this name is. And now we can 3D print this. So I hope you enjoy this and have a good day.